where Bill Miller is investing in 2023. He is one of the greatest investors in the world with a multi-decade run of very high performance. In this video, I'll analyze his top 10 companies, so stay tuned until the end to see all of his gems. And as always, always set with educational purposes and is not meant to be taken as financial advice. The number 10 stock in Bill's $1.5 billion portfolio is Alibaba with a 3.18% share. Absolutely all of his top 10 stocks saw a decrease during the last quarter of 2022, which means he is reducing his stock positions and he is increasing his cash reserves. Alibaba saw a 12% overall decrease in the position size. For me personally, Alibaba is an incredible business which has very low debt levels, making it quite secure for me personally from a debt risk perspective. Its business efficiency is okay-ish, the competitive mode is incredible, as Alibaba has more than 1.2 billion customers on an annual basis and its valuation is quite low. Alibaba has a $266 billion market capitalization while its free cash flow is $22 billion. This gives Alibaba a price to free cash flow of around 13. This means the true business yield is 7.7%. Make sure to watch my full Alibaba stock analysis video here on the channel as I deep dive extensively into the business of the company. On spot number 9 comes Google with a 3.51% share. The position was decreased by about 9% over the last quarter. The biggest current risk for Google is the emergence of ChatGPT and its integration with Microsoft's search engine Bing. This is the first real competitive threat for Google in over 20 years, but as the management of Microsoft has stated, this new AI technology will not change search immediately. Google, just like Alibaba, exemplifies great fundamentals, very low debt levels, even higher efficiency, and a higher current competitive mode. But the valuation is a bit high with a current PE of around 19. I would like it to be around 17 to 16 which historically for Google is the lowest it's been. You can watch my full analysis of Google here on the channel. The 8th spot is reserved for Delta Airlines with a 3.56% portfolio share while the reduction in position sizing in this case is only 1.8%, I personally would not invest in airline stocks as their business fundamentals are very bad for me. The long-term debt-to-equity ratio is 4.35. This is insane. The price-to-book and price-to-earnings are also very high for me to consider it as a potential investment option. The number 7 position in Bill Miller's portfolio is yet another big tech company and this time it's Amazon with a 3.64% share. The decrease here is only 3.3% of the position sizing for the last quarter. Amazon has yet again entered its heavy expense investment zone. This makes the company analysis quite different and there are specific ways one must evaluate the potential return. I go into these methods in a separate Amazon analysis video, again here on the channel. Overall, as for some of the basic business fundamentals, the company is very secure from a debt management level, it has a good efficiency, everyone knows Amazon does not have any real and direct competitors, but my only negative remark for which I cannot close my eyes is the very high valuation for Amazon. In relation to other tech companies like Facebook, Google, Alibaba 
or the other big tech Chinese company Tencent, Amazon is quite expensive. On spot number 6 is Energy Transfer LP. It provides energy-related services. The company owns and operates approximately 11,600 miles of natural gas transportation pipelines and three natural gas storage facilities in Texas and two natural gas storage facilities located in the state of Oklahoma and Texas, and 19,830 miles of interstate natural gas pipeline. It also sells natural gas to electric utilities and independent power plants. This is quite the value play with a PB ratio of 1.2 meaning for each dollar of equity we pay only 20 cents more. The price to earnings also is quite low, below 10 sitting at around 9. The debt of the company is very high with a debt to equity ratio of 1.47, just for comparison, the total market capitalization of the company is $40 billion, while the total liabilities are around $49 billion. This means the debts are about 25% larger than the entire company's valuation. It is a 3.83% share of the portfolio and Bill reduced this position by 15% more recently. On spot number 5 is Mattel. Mattel is an American multinational toy manufacturing and an entertainment company founded in January of 1945. It is a 3.87% share of the total portfolio and the reduction is 8%. Mattel is trading at a PE of 18, which is a bit too high for a 3-year revenue growth rate of 5.1%. The business efficiency is above average, but the debt level is a bit too high for me with a DE ratio of 1.25. On spot number 4 comes Taylor Morrison Home. It is one of the largest home building companies in the United States. Both its debt and valuation is very low. The long term debt to equity is sitting at about 0.5, which is an optimal level. Another way to analyze the debt is to check the debt to EBITDA which in this case is only 1.7, meaning that for less than 2 years worth of EBITDA earnings the company would pay off its debts. The PE is about 4, also the enterprise value to EBITDA ratio is at 4.1, showing again the valuation is very good. This would be a very interesting stock to analyze, so subscribe to the channel to not miss it out. The share size is 4.22%. On spot number 3 comes Expedia Group. It is an American online traveling shopping company for consumers and small business travel. This company saw the smallest reduction with about a 1.7%. I personally would not invest in the company as the valuation is very high in relation to the earnings and the debt management is not okay. Spot number 2 is set for a one main holdings which is an American financial holding company. I would not want to invest in bank stocks or financial services companies stocks as they are quite cyclical in times of financial distress. In the upcoming times of uncertainty, I would like to invest in companies which exemplify strong and linear growth. The portfolio size for this company is 4.52%. The top stock is Oventif. It is a hydrocarbon exploration and production company organized in Delaware. It is a 4.8%. 78% share of the total $1.5 billion portfolio. It is again a value play with a PE of 6.1 and very low debt levels. What is interesting though is the fact that this company saw the biggest position decrease with a 25% reduction. Overall, Bill Miller invests in stable companies with lower debt levels, good valuations and no single company takes more than 5% of his portfolio. 
subscribe for more and make sure to watch all the separate stock analysis here on the channel. Goodbye for now and until the following video.